Just look at all that stringy cheese there. That looks great. Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and uh, it's Monday afternoon. I just got through doing the update from Marie earlier this morning and we really did appreciate all the great comments and well wishes that Marie received and it just made her so happy to see that everyone cared uh, so much for her. Uh, today we're going to be having for supper tonight. It's a new uh, recipe that we've never tried before. It's similar to a cracked spaghetti, but it don't have any chicken in it. It has a lot of bacon in it. It's called bacon cream cheese baked spaghetti. And so uh, it looks pretty easy to make. So hopefully I won't mess it up too bad. But let me get over here to the oven and get started with the uh, first steps. Okay, I'm gonna get started. First thing I'm gonna do is add four cups of milk to the pot. Let me put this milk back in the refrigerator. I don't want it to spoil when sitting out too long. Okay, my next ingredient that I'm going to add, this is a one can of cream of bacon soup. And we actually had a hard time finding this. Walmart does not carry this soup. And so we went to a couple of stores and we did find it. This particular can came from the uh, Dollar General uh, over here close to our house down in Lindale, Georgia. Okay, next I'm going to be adding, this is a, it's chive and onion cream cheese spread. And this is the eight ounce package. So I'll be adding all this into it. I might should have got this out a little earlier and let it soften up some, but I think it's going to be fine. Every bit of it out. Okay, the next ingredients. This is a uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of onion powder. We we'll just dump all that in. Let me turn some heat on, and I'm gonna let this start heating until it uh, comes to a boil. Get all stirred up here real nice. Okay, let this come to a boil. Okay, now while this is coming to a boil, I'll take my spaghetti and I'm going to be using one pound of just regular spaghetti and I'm going to go ahead and break it in half. This is uh, Marie's new coffee cup that I just got for her very recently. She saw this over at the uh, Dollar General store when we were there the other day. And so uh, it has her initial on there, M, and it's in the uh, buffalo plaid. And so, went ahead and picked that up for her. Uh, she said she loves it. Okay, that's got all the spaghetti broken high and it'll probably take just a few minutes for this to come to a boil and as soon as it comes to the boil I'll be back with you. Okay, 
Okay, it just has reached the boiling point and I don't want it to boil too hard because I don't want that cream cheese to stick to the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead now and add the spaghetti to it and then I'm going to reduce the heat just a little bit. This seems like a lot of spaghetti, but that's what the recipe calls for, so I'm going to go ahead and do it just like the recipe calls for. Let me get that heat reduced a little bit. Okay, at this point here, I want to let it cook on low heat. Just let it simmer for about eight minutes. Okay, I've got the timer set for eight minutes and I'm just going to keep a close eye on it and try not to let it stick. I'll be back with you when this is done. Okay, it's been almost eight minutes and I've been keeping it steered. And as you can tell, it's got a nice creamy sauce to it. And the spaghetti noodles are looking real good. Look how good that looks. Okay, my eight minutes is up. I'm going to be adding, this is two cups of mozzarella cheese that's shredded up. I'm going to add that to it. I've already got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And then this is about a half a cup of bacon bits. And I cooked them before I started the recipe. Okay, let me stir this up till it gets blended in there good. That mom's really cheese is melting fast. Okay, I hear an airplane flying over. If you hear Marie talking in the background, her aunt called and uh, checking on her. And so she's on the phone talking to her aunt right now. Okay, I think I've got that mixed in real good. Okay, so let me turn that off. Okay, I've got a 9 by 13 casserole pan over here. And I'm going to put this in the casserole pan. And it's got a lot of cheese. Let's hope I can do this without too much problems. good there okay that's all of it okay. they sort of spread out evenly it's like I splattered a little bit Now, I think I mentioned, but I did have this pan sprayed already. Okay. So next step, I'm going to put two more cups of uh, Parmesan cheese on top of this. So this recipe's really got a lot of cheese in it. But all this cheese will be up on top. Okay, and then I'm going to put 
This is another half cup of bacon that I'm going to put on top of this. And it says to use bacon bits, but I guess you cause mine bacon chunks because I broke it into bigger pieces. Get them spread out pretty even there. Okay, that looks good. Okay, this is going to go in the oven now. Make sure there's no cheese touching the edges real bad. Okay, so this will be going in the oven on 400 degrees for approximately 15 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. Just want it to barely start to brown on the edges is all we're looking for. Let me hold this up to the camera so you can see it a little better. Okay, so now it's going in the oven. Okay, so I'll be back with you in about 15 minutes and we'll see how it's looking. Okay, we're at 13 minutes. I just looked at it and it's really starting to look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out at 13 minutes. Let me turn the timer off. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Let me get my camera over here and show you how good that looks close up. It does recommend that you let it cool for uh, several minutes before you serve it. I may let it cool for about five to ten minutes before I serve it. But let me get my camera over here real close and give you a close up of this. Don't that really look good? With all that cheese on it, when I go to cut it and serve it, it's probably going to be real stringy. So hopefully I can serve it and not make too big a mess. But let's let it cool for about maybe 5 to 10 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I've been letting this cool for about maybe 8 to 10 minutes. And I'm going to add a little bit of parsley flakes to it. Uh, just put it on top for a little extra color. And that really makes it look good. Okay, now I'm going to try to serve some of it. I don't know how good this is going to work, but we're fixing to find out. You know how spaghetti can be real tricky for dipping out. I know if you was to let it cool for a long time, that it would probably come out real good. Oh, just look at that cheese. Wow. Yes, that looks real good there. Got a nice long string of cheese, don't I? <laughs> okay, let me give this a little taste test and see how I like it. Hopefully it's not too hot. I don't know, it's steaming pretty good, maybe too hot. Marie just come in here to see how it looks. How's it look to you, Marie? It looks really good. Okay. Okay, we'll try a taste of it. Mmm. Still a little too hot, but that is good. Mmm. Really good. I can really taste all the uh, cheese and bacon in it. Get one more bite. Like I said, it's real stringy. Look at that. Mm. I 
Oh yeah, that's very good. This is going to make a very good supper for us tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, thanks everyone for watching uh, this video. We certainly do appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure and subscribe. And be sure to like and comment every time you can on our videos. Uh, it helps us out and we really do appreciate it. So everyone have a great day. We'll see you on our next video. And like Marie always says, do what you love and love what you do. Bye. Okay, this is cooked a little more and it really looks good. Just look at all that stringy cheese there. That looks great. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be